maybe suggest that if anyone was um, really interested in, um, uh, from an academic point of view, of gaining a, a sort of an insight into the things that are unfolding and into the interpretations that we are espousing in our time, that we might, um, they might gain a good insight if they found a copy of the Dead Sea Scriptures by Theodore H. Gaster. Okay. Among all the insights into the meaning of the scriptures, I believe Theodore Gaster, in this edition, captures um, the moment in which we are passing in the most uh, um, perfect way. And the other is on the mystical shape of the Godhead, basic concepts in Kabbalah by Gershom Shalom. These books, and also Gershom Shalom on the Kabbalah and its symbolism. Um, the different give, different stuff in the, each of those two books. Yeah, base, uh, much uh, much of the same stuff, but any of the works by Gershom Shalom um, will add an 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 additional insight into the means by which we have come to the conclusions that we do and the interpretations of the mystical tradition as we are. And it's by our attempt, and maybe I shouldn't use the word attempt anymore, by our, uh, and maybe I shouldn't use the word ability either, but by the fact that we are now breaking into the symbolism of the oracle, the tree of life, we are now able to gain and take out of it all of the ideas that have been ensouled and embodied in this symbol in ancient times, from the time of Aaron and Moses, and then to the time of the Essenes and John the Baptist, and then when, of course, along the Jewish side of this tree of life, when that Pharisee of Pharisees, Elisha ben Abuya, who we know as Paul, appeared. And now we are here in our time and are uh, beginning to uh, experience and see the unfolding of these realities in our time. So that's maybe one way to cross back into this. <laughs>